Malaria kills 16 Ugandans daily and causes an estimated annual economic loss of 500 million US dollars due to treatment costs. Government, together with its partners including countries and organizations, are working tirelessly to fight malaria. Ahead of the World Malaria Day celebration scheduled to take place tomorrow, several people participated in a bicycle ride organized by the Minister of Health and the Rotary Club of Chisasi Chanja at Nambole Stadium. The bicycles were flagged off by the Prime Minister of Uganda, Robin Anabanja, who commanded the Ministry of Health for their efforts in the fight against malaria. Nabanja also revealed that the government is committed to fight and end malaria. And therefore, it is my humble appeal that we all join to fight malaria. Since we have been told, it continues to take lives of our people. The American government, through its organizations like Agency for International Development, you said, Center for Disease Control and Prevention have continued to invest a lot of money in the fight against malaria. U.S. Ambassador to Uganda, Natalie Brown, has called on Uganda government to increase the annual domestic resource allocation budget for health, including malaria. Mobilization efforts must focus on increasing domestic revenue for health and improving the efficiency and transparency of its use. We are empowering health workers with information to be able not to only test and treat, but also pass on malaria preventive measures as a public health intervention. Government aims at reducing malaria infections in Uganda by 50% over the next five years. Uganda has one of the highest cases of malaria and it is ranked fourth in Africa with over 90% of the population at risk, especially children and pregnant mothers with 20.4 million cases and a death toll of 30,900 in 2020 alone. Safi, Mokili, Baluka and Shamim Natewa for CTV, Pimedition.